Hey guys, so in this video we will f continue with intermediate algorithm scripting and we're going to solve seek and destroy. Okay, so we, will, we have an initial array. The first argument in the destroyer function, so the array is only the first argument followed by one or more arguments. Okay, we need to remove all elements from the initial array that are of the same value as these arguments. And we need to use the arguments object. Okay, so as you can see in the definition of the function, we only uh, know for sure that we will have an array as the first argument, but we don't know how many uh, how many more arguments we will have. So for that, we will, we are going to use the arguments object. This arguments object in JavaScript uh, lets you access gives you access to the arguments given to the function. As you can see here, the destroyer uh, has the array as an, uh, as an input, but also two more arguments. So let's first try to console log what we get from the arguments. Arguments. Okay, as you can see, we get this object. And now we want to access this and I think so we should use the uh, spread operator in JavaScript which we learned before let's declare let's call uh, all the arguments that we get after the array uh, rest so we will put them into a rest array I'm just going to declare let rest here and then to do the spread operator I'm going to do something like this so I'm putting one comma here because we want to ignore the array because we can access it with variable array and we want all the arguments after the array. For that I'm using the three dots, the spread operator rest. This is going to be equal to arguments. Now let's see if we got that uh, right. So I'm going to const log the rest. Yep, as you can see we have all the arguments so it doesn't matter even if we give four okay we get all the rest of the arguments perfect I think this was the most tricky part let's remove this console logs okay here we are now what we want to do is that uh, remove all elements from the initial array that are of the same value as these arguments. So if one element in this array is also in this uh, rest array, then we want to remove it. Okay, that's, that's very easy if you use filter. So let's just use filter. I'm going to use filter here and I'm going to give it a callback function. Let's write it element and now what I want to do first is check if uh, this element is in the rest array. And we're going to use again includes like in the previous exercise. Rest.includes element. But uh, we want to... So this will return true if it is. But we want this elements to be... Uh, excluded to be filtered out so for them to be filtered out we need this we need this to return false okay so but let's see first what what it does at the moment console.log okay so we get 2323 two, and so we want 1 1 okay so we want to remove 2323 two, three in this case for it to return false, just like we did in the previous exercise, I'm going to um, just put to negate it. Okay, and that, that I think that does it. Yep, I think this is all the code. Let's run the test. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, uh, that was it for this exercise. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. So if you like it, again, subscribe and uh, share to support the channel. 
Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.